What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Time for another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds. Today, we're talking C and say. Sheep, dog, duck, frog, horse, coyote, rooster, pig, cow, and bird, cat, turkey. Then back to the sheep. Ooh, what a fun thing. Pull the lever. We're gonna go through all of them, and it's gonna be great. The sheep goes. Here is the turkey. Listen to the cat. The bird says. The crow says. This is a pig. The rooster's horse. This is where it's messed up because it combines. Coyote and rooster with horse for some reason. The coyote horse. Do you hear the frog? Here is a duck. So as you may be familiar, this is the C and Say. You may have had one growing up. <laughs> so this one is by Mattel from 1989. Look on the back there, you can see the cool embossed imagery oh it was only three bucks so pretty good deal there from uh, goodwill i've actually i went the other day and i saw a couple more of these i thought i would talk about a mattel a little bit since it's the only or one of the only toy companies that isn't owned by hasbro it's actually probably hasbro's main competitor so let's get into it the company was founded in 1945 by harold matt Matson and Elliot Handler. So with those names combined, they came up with the name Mattel. Matt and L. Elliot. It started in Hawthorne, California, and then they moved their headquarters to El Segundo, California. Originally, they sold picture frames, and down the line, they sold some doll furniture. But the first big hit was the Yuka Doodle, a toy ukulele made with hard plastic and a turd-handled music box inside of it. Pretty groovy, dude. Around this time, Matson sold his share to Handler due to poor health, and Handler's wife stepped in to take over as a new founder. One of the company's biggest toys was created in 1959. That's right, it's the Barbie doll. And check this out, the Chatty Cathy doll was invented in 1960, and one of the first toys to use the pull string voice activation system. This is kind of revolutionary of its time. And then three years later, 1963, Charmin Chatty uh, was invented and you could insert mini records into her so she would say a lot more unique dialogue. And that leads into my Thrifty Find, which uses a similar technology that those dolls used. The first CNC was invented in 1965 and used the pull string. I want to point out the coyote. It had those those crazy fangs on it. And you wonder why everybody's so scared of the coyotes. Okay, at this point, I'm going to speed through some facts. In 1968, they got Hot Wheels. In 1971, they bought Ringling Brothers and Bailey Circus for $40 million. And then they resold the corporation in 1973. Bye. Also that year, the original founders, Elliot and Ruth Handler, were banished. banished. That's right. They were banished from the company because they were issuing false and misleading financial reports. Come on. What are you guys doing? In 1977, the Mattel Electronic line was created and made some of those neat, nifty, fancy handheld games. They had like football... Baseball, basketball were some of the more popular ones, but apparently they made a lot. I thought I'd list off a few of the more unique ones. Hockey, I guess that's a bad start. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Look Alive Football, Mind Boggler, Space Battle, Starhawk, and my personal favorite, Ticker Tape Fever. That's right. They made a game about the stock market. I buy, buy, I buy, buy, sell, I buy, buy, sell, 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 sell. So yeah, one to four players each starts with $100,000. Wow, the excitement of Wall Street to challenge your strategic thinking. Wow, nice try. New for 81. All right, then a couple years later, 1979, they made the Intellivision. I never played it. Oh well, but it had some popularity and I think they got a new one out now. Or it's coming out. Relax, Jerry. I'll, I'll get to the bonus now. All right. Star Wars VHS tape. Found this at the Goodwill bins. A long time ago in a galaxy far away, this edition 
came out in 1984. We got a hi-fi stereo digitally mastered. $29.98 original price. This has got to be pretty rare. And it's in really good shape. Shrink wrapped and all that. So there Alright, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. We're coming up on my 20th episode. I can't believe I'm still doing this. Thrifty, thrifty, Tom Swifty finds. What'll he find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom Swifty finds. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah.